Hello everyone! Welcome to Math Tutorial by Teacher Gon. Today, we're going to learn how to subtract decimal numbers. We walked through for the four example to help you master it. Let's begin. So we have 9.2 minus 3.04. Step number one. Line up the decimal points. We write both numbers vertically with the decimal points line up. Since 9.2 has only one decimal place, we add 0 to make it 9.20. Then minus 3.04. Step number 2. Subtract starting from the right. So 0 minus 4, we borrow 1 from the tens place. So it will be 10 and 1. So 10 minus 4, the answer is 6. Then 1 minus 0 is 1. 9 minus 3 is 6. And then step number three, bring down the decimal point. So the final answer is 6.16. Okay, next sample. Step number one, line up the decimals. Minus 3. One, seven. So make twenty point two into twenty point twenty to match the decimal places. Step number two: subtract from right to left. Hundreds and tens, please. So we have zero minus seven. It will become. We, we need to borrow here. So it will be 10, and this one it will be 1. So 10 minus 7 is equal to 3, and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Then 0 minus 3 is here. 0 minus 3 cannot be, so we need to borrow here. So it will be 10, and then it will be 1. So 10 minus 3, the answer is 7, and bring down 1. Now, step number three, again, bring down the decimal point. So, the final answer is 17.03. Got it? Okay, and for the next example, we have 6.13 minus 1.859. And now, we need to... To follow the process, step number one, line up the decimals. So, 6.13 minus 1.859. And now, we need to add 0 here at the end of 3. To make it 6.130. So it must matches the three decimal places. Step number two. Subtract so carefully. Borrowing as needed. So we have tens, hundreds, and thousands. So zero minus nine cannot be. We need to borrow. It will be two. Ten minus nine. The answer is one. 2 minus 5 cannot be, then we need to borrow again. It will be 12 minus 5, the answer is 7. 0 minus 8 cannot be, borrow again. 10 minus 8, the answer is 2. And 5 minus 1, the answer is 4. Again, step number 3, bring down the decimal point. So the final answer is 4.1. 
4.271. Okay, final tips. Always line up the decimal points, add 0 to match the decimal places, borrow carefully, and bring the decimal point straight down into your answer. And for the last, for the last some example, it's your turn to answer this. Okay, I hope you learned from these topics. Thank you for listening. Bye!